2K Sports and the PGA Tour. Proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Serenity Championship is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth and out on the course following our feature group is the delightful Henny Koyak. Hello, Henny. Yeah, thank you so much, Luke. I am so happy that I have been put with these two players because they've been going back and forth at each other on social media leading up to this event. They seem to really have something to prove, a bone to pick with each other, and it'll all be settled out on the golf course today. Well, it will be interesting to keep an eye on this one right throughout this event. Nicely done from around 180 yards out. Game of the seven. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. This one's for birdie. This one's looking good. Getting off to a great start at this event. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. He's currently tied for 12. And maybe feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. They're thinking of going for this one, guys. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. 12 feet to the cup coming up. Fantastic play so far, setting this up for the eagle. Well, that's a nice line. That putt went a bit long there. We're lining up the birdie putt here. Ooh, nice line. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. I like it. Two in a row. Currently a couple under for the round. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. And tee shot looks pretty good. Playing from around 160 yards.
Choosing the nine iron here. Nothing wrong with this one. Well, they've got their eye locked in. Look at that approach shot against Ricky Fowler as well. Eight feet to the cup. And that will drop in for birdie. Lining up for his third now. Well, that's going to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. chosen the seven iron this one's going right at the pin here a sensational shot and a chance for a birdie here on the four a share of top spot on the leaderboard awaits if they can make this putt right over the spot they're looking at he's currently in a share of top spot Coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Oh, that is crushed. Well, here's an unlikely player. A little bit of an underdog, you say? Yes, but everybody on the PGA Tour can play. He's just an unknown quantity at the moment. I'm excited to watch. Going with the eight iron here. I love to see it straight at the flag. Aggressive play. And hitting yet another green here in regulation. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Well, good look at Birdie here. It's looking solid. And racking up their fifth Birdie of the day. And that will take him to five under. And let's have a look at Tony Finau from earlier. This is his third. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. right out of the top drawer. Rich, one of the big advantages for the experienced players on tour is their history around particular courses. But what advice would you give to the new players who are coming to a course for the first time and how to handle it? I would say tread easily. Go in there and just try to get into a good rhythm on the golf course. Don't try and go out and try and hit too many heroic shots or go after too many flag sticks because if you don't know what the consequences are, if you don't pull off that shot, well, shame on you. So I think that the veterans 
obviously have more knowledge about golf courses and they can say, oh, I don't want to miss it there because that's dead. I've seen it happen before. When you go into a new golf course, Luke, you got to go in with it and just try and play a little bit on the defensive side. Don't get too greedy. Don't try and make too many things happen. Go in there, find some fairways, find some greens, hole a few putts here and there, get some confidence going first before you start attacking pins. for a long time. Trying to get to six under now with this putt. Like the look of this one. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. And that will take him to six under. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And now teeing off on this par four hole. shot there it's a fairway finder for sure third shot now sitting at six under for the day currently in the lead That's beautifully judged. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Leading by three strokes now. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. with the hybrid this looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing oh wow from the tee no less that's great stuff just three feet to the cup little birdie look in here and that's eight birdies today and that will take him to eight under currently in first position Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Playing from around 190 yards out. Currently leading by three. Going with the five iron here. 
Come on, get a good bounce to the left. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? Setting up this part 14 feet from the cup. It's up, it could be in. Well, that'll play.